Hey there everyone, welcome to the next system test with my ADT Unimode 10UD 10 Zone Fire Alarm Control Panel. In this test, I got some interesting wheel lock alarms I'm going to show you today. This right here is a wheel lock AS-241575. And if we go to the left, we have another wheel lock AS, but since this one is rebranded by a different company, the model of this one is actually DAS24-V. ARC-SWR. That's a long model, <laughs> but it's just an AS. And as you can see, both of them are very similar but very different. This one is has a vertical strobe, and this one has a horizontal strobe. This right here is the older version of the Wheelock AS. I've only seen these in the building a few times, and as you can see, the big difference is it's on its side. Well, it's vertical. The strobe is, and you can actually see in, in the strobe there, the mirrors are actually positioned a little differently than the other one. They're positioned so that the strobe will flash vertically, and flash down, and then, as you can see on the newer one, the, the mirrors inside of the strobe are positioned so it can flash horizontally down. And that's just so that no matter which way it's aimed, the strobe is still going to hit kind of down where the majority of the people would theoretically be in a room. Other than that, this older one is not multi-candela, so it's just fixed 1575 candela strobe, which is just the brightness. And today it is going to be coded to continuous. It actually does not have a coding option on the built-in on the inside, so it will normally just do continuous unless the fire alarm control panel codes it to a different code. And then this one right here, I have the horn on it disabled, so only the strobe will flash, so we'll only be hearing this one. But both these alarms sound the exact same, so might as well just make less noise. This right here is a Life Safety MS-501U pull station. Pretty cool pull station, very uncommon, so we're going to be pulling it today. And then last but not least, I thought we might test this UN controlled duct detector. As you can see, the model is SL-2000-N, and I've made a couple videos on this before, so if you want to see more about it, go check those videos out. One last thing, I did get a few extra of these, and I put them up on my online store, SERSafety.com. So if you do want one of these uncommon, older wheel lock ASs, go check out SERSafety.com. They're not too expensive, and shipping is free if you're in the U.S. I also did get some of these super cool vintage auto call pull stations in. They're in great condition, and uh, they're pretty cool. So that's what it looks like when it's pulled. And then I also have a few other fire alarms up there. So just go check out SERSafety.com if you want a fire alarm or a pull station to add to or begin building a fire alarm collection like mine here. <laughs> All right, now it's time for testing. So this is the back of the duct detector, and this is normally where it would sense for smoke inside of an air duct. So we're going to go ahead and simulate that and hopefully set off the alarm. This is canned smoke. There it goes. That was loud. All right, let's go ahead and silence the smoke duct alarm. And that might go off a couple more times because that smoke chamber in there is still pretty smoky. All right, I went ahead and got all the smoke out of the duct detector. And the panel is still an alarm. And before we reset it, I think we will go ahead and reset off all the fire alarms with the life safety pull station. So this is pretty cool, pretty uncommon. It's just kind of like a BG-8, so you pull out and then kind of the whole top comes down. So you'll get to see that here. Here we go.
that is pretty loud, isn't it? <laughs> and this pull station resets pretty easily. You just lift this back up, and then this one has a key, which makes it really easy. You just stick the key in, turn it to close the pull station, and then take the key back out. Some of them, there's just a little hole, and you kind of have to just pry it back in there with like a flathead screwdriver or something. So, all right, that is now reset. And we can go ahead and reset the main fire alarm control panel. And as you can see, it's now resetting. And there's no fire currently. So, system resets. And I think that is going to conclude the test today. Thank you everyone for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to go check out SERSafety.com. I have some good stuff up there. I still have a few more SER Safety sweaters so if any of you want that they are at a reduced price right now so go go get them <laughs> all right thank you for watching rate comment and subscribe and have a great day everyone